Franny Long, and I am so grateful to be able to share this time with you today. So uh, a little something different for this chapel yoga session. Um, I want to talk to all the kids out there. I really miss being with the Sunday School classes. Uh, I've been able to be a part of the Sunday School teachers for a number of years now, and um, it just feels so different (laughs) not being a part of this. So I hope I can maybe spend some time with uh, our children in our church today. And when I was planning to share this message with you today, I was thinking about... um, a recent get-together I had. And that seems so weird, right? Because we are not really getting together much nowadays. But a couple weeks ago, I was able to participate in the third grade Bible presentation with my family. So Harper received her Bible this year, and it was really special for us to be able to be among um, friends and pastors and Amy and Brian and Bradley and Miss Rebecca. It was just great to be in an outdoor space with them. So we had the presentation in the Memorial Garden, and it was a really lovely morning. Um, We were so excited for Harper to get her Bible dedicated and be able to start sharing um, her own thoughts about her Bible, you know, stories that she wants to particularly explore. So it brings me to what I want to share with you today. Um, Being a part of our church is amazing. We have so many people here that share their gifts, their talents, um, their skills with us. It's really created this wonderful community. And um, I know you're as grateful as I am to be a part of this church family. And that also reminded me of a story um, in the Bible that talks about offering our gifts and our talents, and being a part of a community church. So the story I'm thinking of is in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, and it's verse 12 through 31. So if you're third grade or above and you want to grab your Bible, you can go ahead and do that or just listen along. Um, And in this story, um, the believers in Corinth are kind of thinking about what it's like to be part of the church. And so they send Paul a letter uh, just asking for his guidance. So it says, the believers in Corinth had many questions for Paul. The believers wanted to know how each of them fit into the church. I'm really good at playing music. Can my gift and talent be used by the church? Asked one believer. I'm really good at praying for others, said another believer. I'm really good at speaking in front of large crowds, said another believer. I'm really good at listening, said another believer. So they wrote a letter to Paul to ask for help. All these gifts are very important. Each of you has been given a special gift from God. Nobody's gift is better than anyone else's. When we use our gifts together, we are like a body. We all need each other, just like we all need our body parts. We couldn't do all the important things we need to do without our body parts, just like we can't do all the things Jesus wants us to do if we don't work together, wrote Paul. So in thinking of that, I know each of us are gifted by God with a talent or an interest, a skill. Um, And what's amazing is all the ways that we can share that in our church, in our community, with our family. And it also brings me to reminding us that all of our body parts have a special function. And if we can properly take care of them, then they'll work at their optimum, optimal best, right? So that being said, um, this yoga practice that I want to share with you today kind of talks about how we can best treat our body for the times that we're in. A lot of us are in front of our computer for school, for work, 
And that's a lot of hours sitting in one spot in one position. So it's really great to move your body. Whether you play a sport or do gymnastics or have musical talents, all of those can be used to really express yourself. And yoga is similar to that, right? So we can use it to um, express our body in ways that feel good and will nurture. So if you'll join me for a little short yoga practice, for all of us who are sitting in one spot, um, I'll walk you through some movements and then we'll say a prayer together. All right, so let's move our body because we've been sitting for a, a while, right? So let's start with our hips, maybe spreading the feet a little bit wider and then just pretend like you're twirling a hula hoop around your hips. Do it in one direction and then the next. Awesome. And then maybe lift up your knee, hug it in. And the other knee. That's great. All right, let's take a big breath in, reaching above. Let it go one more time. So good. And that breath felt really good. So let's do that again. So breathing in through your belly, filling it up with air. Inhale through the nose. And then let it go. One more time. Awesome. Let's roll out our shoulders because we've been kind of hunched over the computer. So up, back, down. Maybe connecting your breath. As you move, let's do the other way. Right on. And let's roll out our wrists in one direction and then the other. Nice. Maybe give a little tug to your fingers, wave to your toes. <laughs> awesome. Let's stretch to one side, oh, stretch to the other. So good. Let's give ourselves a really big hug because we're doing a great job, just as we are. Big, big hug, switch sides. Another super big hug, mm, big squeeze. This is me hugging you. Awesome, friends. All right, let's get together now and allow me to share this blessing with you to close our practice. Thanks for moving with me. If you will maybe come to a seat and make bring your hands together. I'd like to share this blessing with you before we go. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for the ways that you help us share our gifts, our talents, our skills with one another. You have gifted us an incredible present, Jesus. And thank you for all the ways that you encourage us to use those gifts for doing good. Thank you for this amazing community, our church family, all of our loved ones. We are so grateful because they are gifts for us as well. And thank you for the gift of our body and allowing us to move through it and do your good works with it. Thank you so much for loving us. Amen. Thanks again for joining. I hope to see you soon.